Hey guys, I'm the Illusionist, and today I'm going to show you a great and easy magic trick with a normal pack of cards. <coughs> sorry, and sorry, I haven't posted any videos in the last two weeks. I've had problems, like lots and lots and lots of homework, so I didn't have any time. So yeah, let's get started. So first, I'm going to ask my spectator to cut my my normal pack of cards into four like equal parts, I guess. So as I don't have a spectator, I'll do it myself. So like one, let's say one, two, three, and four. So he could have cut anywhere he wanted, but he cut there, look. And look, it's a perfectly normal plan as I told you. And if we take this card, he cut on this card, this card, this card, and this card. And what's funny about it is that, look, if I take these cards and I watch, it's one ace, two aces, three aces, and four aces. Isn't it amazing? I'll be right back for the extra. So, how does it work? It's very simple. All you need is a pack of cards, like this one, normal, and four aces. So what you're going to do is, before the trick starts, you take your three of the aces, you put them on the bottom of the deck. You take the last ace and you put it on top of the deck. And now, if you want a full shuffle or full card, it's as you want. So, like, I do like this classy full card. Whoops. It's easy if you don't miss because my deck is brand new, so it's kind of slippery. <coughs> so, when you full card, they think it's shuffled. I don't know, but it's not. Look, one ace and the three aces. So you're ready for your trick. You ask for them to split the deck into four palms like this. So now you're ready. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the. You're going to say first that they chose where they split the deck, and it's their choice. You didn't influence them or nothing like that. You're going to take the last pie, and you so. You show that, look, all my cards are normal. And when spreading through, you're going to count three cards from the bottom, knowing that these cards are the aces. And we're going to use your, place your thumb there, okay? But make it look natural. And then you're going to square back up and square back up these cards at the same time. Push, 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 push. But push on top so that you can catch pinky break. So once more, you, you just spread through the cards. See the three last ones, and what you're going to do, you take your pair of your thumb, square up with your fingers on the bottom, help yourself with the other hand, and then just catch pinky break. So what you're going to say, Anthony, you cut on this card, this card, this card, and this card. This card being an ace. So then the move is going to come. It's not too hard. You just need to show in a bit. You're going to square up like this with this hand. And at the same time, what you're going to do is square up with the other hand, helping yourself. And so now you're going to transfer this in a thumb break so you can just leave your fingers loose but still hold it. And what you're going to do is you catch again the, um, the, the three bottom cards, the three aces. And with your thumb, you press and take the ace off the top like this. And quickly put this deck here and show that. You cut on the four aces. So once more, one ace on the top, one here. And what you did was, there was this ace was here. You spread through the cards, show the three last ones, catch your pinky. So you cut on this one, this one, this one, and this one. This one being an ace. Then you square up with both hands. Don't leave your pinky. Hold it, and then you're gonna grip the top card and just pull apart the other cards like this. So in here, you've got the four aces, and you can say you just cut on one ace, two aces, three aces, four aces. Very easy. You just need to train a bit, and you'll get the hang of it. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.